Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about souls matter. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. Proverbs 11.30 Lost souls are all around us. My 11-year-old son Jake has a dear friend who plays baseball with him. Our entire family has been concerned about this boy's salvation and has prayed for him often. Several months ago, my son and his buddy came into the living room and I shared in details the gospel, Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. He said he knew he was not saved, but wasn't ready. This only increased the weight of the burden we felt for him. Recently, Jake's friend went to church with us. Afterwards, the boys wanted to go to the ball field to hit. I was exhausted, but I went anyway. From the bleachers, I called to the boys to gather at home plate to pray before they started hitting. Jake said, okay, Dad, you can lead us. As I walked onto the field, I felt nudged by the Spirit of God to share the gospel again with this young man. But this time, I took a different approach. I said, at the cross, the Lord got hit by the pitch intended for you, and you got the free base. You know, the Lord Jesus came and died for the sin of the world, but he rose again on the third day, victorious over death, hell, and the grave. Then I asked, What's keeping you from asking Jesus into your heart today? Anything? He said, No. And I had the awesome privilege of leading him to Jesus at home plate. Now that is a home run. We need to make altars out of our end zones and baseball diamonds, our carpools and neighborhoods, because souls matter. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, Help me to recognize the soul-winning opportunities all around me.